We're about to do a location guide today. <clears throat> We're here in Understone Keep of Marketh. There you go. And um, after completing a uh, miscellaneous quest for Calcimo, um, which if I don't have the description or the link to the uh, video for that in the description, remind me please because I forget often. But um, we have the key to the Dwemer Museum after getting it from Calcimo. Um, which is the court wizard um, here in Dragon's Reach, or no, um, in the Marketh throne room. Understone Keep, sorry. <clears throat> Alright, so, this is the museum. You can see there's a bunch of dormer stuff around here. We've got uh, guards that are protecting the area. Never seen anything quite like that. We have some cases that we can unlock. So dormer cups and pans and things. More various stuff you can loot if you want. Let's just unlock all of these things here. So that builds up our lock picking too. We can even steal the forks. <laughs> Make a little cash. Now, here is the worthwhile stuff. This, these items here, the Dwemer plate metal, the ones that I'm grabbing, as you can see, oh, detected for a second. Oh. Then these scrap metals. All right, leave me alone. All right, and I think. Hold on. Alright, so the drummer scrap metal you can't actually break down, but if it's bent scrap metal, then you can. And there's these drummer gyros there. And drummer cogs. Oops. So a good place to find uh ooh, metals if you're looking to make dwarven armor. Alright. Oh, this is an expert locked one, that's why. There's a dwarven dagger in there. Alright, so this case with books in it. Oops. Alright. Follow the snow prince to follow her study. Hmm. Nothing too interesting. Those books are a little bit valuable, but not that much. Alright, so we got more drummer items up here. Ah, solid metal. Plate metal. Large drummer plates. Alright. There's a dresser here. A gear and a cog. We're gonna leave that. All right. Let's look what our local map looks like. I've been making a way around the um, upper right side here. Let's go see what is this way. Oh, cool. We can use the museum key to unlock that. And you could probably pick your way in here too. Steal some ingredients. Oh, nice. Yes, these barrels are full of alchemy ingredients. Oh, Jesus. Oh, watch out for traps. There's a pressure plate right there. 
I'm gonna make sure Lydia doesn't step on it, which she might. Alright. Steal that wheat. Hmm, this place just got a lot more dangerous. Okay, looks like that was just the only trap there. Some more plate metal. Or plate metal. We're gonna be able to make a whole lot of uh, uh, dwarven ingots from this stuff. Oh, nothing in there. Just a wooden bowl. Strummer gear. Ooh, a chest. That's a cool looking chest. Oh, gold diamond necklace. And a gold jeweled necklace. Very valuable items in there. Holy bail. Some wine. That's kind of worth it. A little bit more. So there's some food items up here. Looks like we about covered this room. Let me show you where it is on the map here. That's where we are currently. So let's uh, get out of here. Imagine she might trigger the trap again. No, nope. alright, she didn't. Cool. Continuing onwards. So we checked. Oh, I didn't take a look at this thing. It's an interesting little uh, device there. There's a whole bunch of drummer cogs, except those. Their weight to value ratio is way off. Okay. And what was in this case here? Just cogs and stuff, but worth unlocking for the lockpick. Yeah. Drummer cogs and gears, which you can't break down. Oop. Just jump over Lydia here. There's a whole bunch of cases to unlock, which is pretty cool. Let's see what's up this way. It's just a regular door. Calcimo's laboratory. Alright, we'll cover that separately then. Ooh, display case here. Expertly locked. Alright, might take us a second. Alright. I broke the recording off a little bit, so I just wanted to find out which way I need to turn the lockpick. There we go, got it. Alright, so the steel, gold ingot, gold necklace, and a silver necklace. So a few valuables in this case. Let's see what's in this one. Yes, we're gonna unlock that. There we go, got it. Plate metal, plate metal, solid dwemer metal. Guess those other items you can't even take. I don't know what they are. Whoa, that's an interesting looking item, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Looks like it could have been a weapon, but perhaps not. Oh, that's like a dwarven weapon too. Alright, so there's a bunch of Dwemer books here. Alright, so none of those books uh, start anything. Sometimes I like to check books because there's, I've had a couple of them that uh, start some quests. Alright, unlock this door. Dwemer pan. Alright, we want to check for traps. Oh look, we found a stone of Berenzia. Cover that separately in a second. Let's take that metal. Alright, I actually broke the video off so I could do the uh, stone of Berenzia there. We're gonna go ahead and continue our thievery. Solid drummer metal in here. Bent drummer scrap metal in there. I imagine my weight is starting to build up very quickly from those large drummer metals. 
Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pick this, uh, oop, this chest here, and see what's inside. Oops, too far. Oh, almost. Ah, okay. Need to use my other mouse, which is a little more precise. <laughs> Actually, I have two that are hooked up to my computer. Okay. Almost. Ah, really? It doesn't seem right. There we go. Got it. Sorry, it took me a little while. <laughs> Gold, small and dumber play. <laughs> ah, that wasn't worth it. Well, maybe it was. Who knows? Um, either way. Um, so just some uh, metals in there. I think we already stole from this dresser, but just want to make sure. All right, I think we've covered uh, this uh, side room. And uh, that stone of Berenzi is probably the most valuable thing in here. Which will be labeled an unusual gem, by the way, if um, you haven't started the No Stone Unturned quest yet. Let's see what's in this bucket. Nothing. Okay. Back on track here. An expert display case. You should see that off. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting off the lock picking off. here. Hey, dude. Get away from me. Jesus, really? <laughs> I left you alone. Now move. No lollygagging. All right. Oops. Dude, still watching us. There you go. All right. You got this one. Dwarven Sword of Arcing. Nice. We will definitely take that. This large drummer plate metal. Let me grab that. Thank you. Bent drummer scrap metal. And then solid drummer metal here. Now the drummer struts, I think, don't uh, break down. However, if they're decorative struts, then they do. Alright, here's a display case that's depth. This should be quick. Whoops. Alright, got it. Dwarven metal ingots. Alright. Some books in this one. Stole. All right, so our lock picking went up, and there's actually some valuable books in here. So you never remove the star. War of the First Consul. Take those. The seed. And on the grid collapse. Alright, got this one. Chronicles of Nusha left. Steal that. Zura in the box. Chimarandium. It's kind of worth a little bit. Drummer history and culture. Believe that. Not worth enough. Let's open this display case. Ooh, that wasn't even locked. Solid Dwemer medals. Another swallow drummer metal. Oh, carrying too much now. Ah, there's the large decorative drummer strut. That breaks down. But the large drummer strut itself does not. Alright, so I gave Lydia some of my stuff. Uh, still running low in room though, because those um, large solid drummer metals are quite hefty. But we're just about done here, it looks like. What does the Dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the Great Beast? Can the Thule be taught to make like any skill? I, I think actually we pretty much covered this whole area. Not seeing any more uh, lootable or valuable lootable goods. Um, there's still. Oh, I forgot to check the middle part here. 
Yeah. Not done yet. Okay. Dwarven Warhammer in here. Take that. Alright, we unlock this expert case. This dwarven sword and a dagger in here. You disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Alright, dwarven shield inside of this case here. Alright, picked another one, dwarven mace. I'm not going to take all of these because I definitely don't have the weight for them. Ooh, we stole that through the case somehow. Alright. Alright, we got this one. Just dwarven sword in there. Alright, we unlock this case. We have a dwarven greatsword. We'll grab that. So dwarven bow, dwarven arrows, that looks nice. Alright, so we unlock both of these cases. You can see there's the bow. And these are the dwarven arrows. There's only a few of them. Dwarven Sphere Centurion Arrow. Whoa. Can't steal it though. Why not? Interesting. That's disappointing. So that's kind of teasing us there. Won't let me steal that. And what do we got in here? Dwarven Helmets. Gauntlets and boots, I think. Alright, so like I was saying, I was right. Helmets, some gauntlets, and some boots. And, um, that really does cover it now. Uh, <laughs> damn, two more body cases I missed. Alright, so I unlocked these. We have a battle axe and a war axe. Um, so yeah, now we're really done. <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting those, uh, false warnings, whatever. Um, so yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of display cases to pick. Um, I suggest bringing lots of lock picks. Jesus, really? We missed even more. This looks even more valuable, though. Uh, what is this? Glowing mushrooms? Let's pick these and we'll see what's in here in a second. Alright, so, actually... Something interesting. We have Falmer stuff. I haven't seen these around before. I imagine... Hmm. Oh, and there's a chest here. Oh, that's empty already. I guess this is what the um, Dwarven stuff was before... Uh, they got better at crafting. <laughs> Because the stuff is kind of crap. Oh, I might take their arrows. Um, but yeah. So Falmer looks to be even more ancient than the Dormer stuff. Um, but fairly less useful. So it looks nifty. Um, I would say if you want some sick looking things, you might want to grab those. Because they look like they're made out of creatures and stuff. But, um, that's pretty ah, much it. Let's uh, double check here. Yeah, we were there before. I am pretty absolutely sure. 100% <laughs> now. That we are finished. Mm. Missed one piece of plate metal near the beginning. And I'm overburdened. But yeah, we're done for this video. That covers the uh, Dormer Museum here in um, Understone Keep of Marka. Thank you guys for watching. Alright, so I just wanted to post a follow-up real quick. Um, I'm actually doing this at the end of the video. <laughs> I know I keep saying we're done, 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 oh, whatever. Um, so it turns out that the... Sorry about that. Turns out that the Dormer's scrap metal actually can be broken down. I was mistaken when I said earlier it couldn't. Or not the uh, scrap metal, sorry. The, um, what was it? The drummer struts, there we go. Um, they're just not worth a whole lot. Um, in terms of, I think you only get two ingots from each one. This little fountain. But yeah, we're gonna go around. 
collecting the struts here. Um, so apologies for saying that earlier you couldn't. Um, I was checking a little cheat sheet. I forgot to have written that down. Um, either way, I'm going to go through and pick them up really quickly. I think there's only a couple in this whole place anyways. I'm not even going to bother up there. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, uh, just wanted to add that to make sure I'm not, um, confusing anyone. You definitely can <laughs> take the, um, the struts to sell from, or to turn into ingots or whatever.